We're in the Portland Art Museum, and we're looking at Judy Chicago's Pasadena Lifesaver Blue Series Number no. 4, 1969 to 1970. Being from Brooklyn, I know Judy Chicago's dinner party. Absolutely. Because I'm lucky enough to live right near its in permanent installation. The celebration of women artists across history. Mm -hmm. This work is Judy Chicago just after she changes her name from Judy Garowitz and she takes on another persona in her evolution as an artist and a person from minimalist art school to trying to make the vocabulary of the day in which she was active, raw minimalism, the factory, the men, mm -hmm. trying to make it female, mm -hmm. trying to make it mean something to her. So when you look at this work, it's four lifesaver-like shapes. So how do you see that as connected to this finding of a feminist oh. identity? Oh, look at it. It's, it's, it's pink a and purple and blue. But look at the pattern. It's a translucent mm -hmm. square, six foot by six foot. She's divided it into quadrants. The quadrants are divided into equilateral triangles, mm -hmm. like a quilt body ah, in the background. I see it. And on top, mm -hmm. she's created four lifesaver-like shapes in which color moves like a spectrum mm -hmm. from light pastel blue and purple to dark, rich purple. And they and, look kind of frosted. Yes. Well, that's, that's that transparent color mm -hmm. on a plexiglass body. This is not the opaqueness of paint, but the transparency of light and color, like a flavin mm -hmm. in a room that changes the mm -hmm. color. Mm -hmm. She uses that to suggest the sensuality of a form that is both geometric and female. And round soft and, and round soft. at the same time. And so she takes two ideas, the traditional folk form of the quilt, I think. Mm -hmm. Maybe almost pay, playing on the idea of a grid, the yes, modernist grid. Very, yes, absolutely. Let's look at this other woman artist right next door. door to the it. Linda Benglis. You know, you have this purity and geometry of the Judy Chicago, and then this knotted, tense, but gorgeous and explosive and fun form called Omega from 1973. This is Linda Binglis from New Orleans, from the Mardi Gras tradition, a woman who takes something from the world, those plaster soaked bandages that they stabilize broken legs with, mm -hmm. and she begins to knot them, and she thinks of them as organic and process and physical. It's a post-minimalist practice. Mm -hmm. It takes material for what it is. And then, like her famous art forum advertisement, where she appears naked with a dildo on a two-page ad, <laughs> confronting the machoism of minimalism. Is that her with the yes, holding the dildo? and the sunglasses. I had forgotten about that image. One of the great confrontations mm -hmm. she staged. Yeah, it's a still a very confrontational image. It was done against her friend Robert Morris, the minimalist. Mm -hmm. And these glitter knots, yeah. dismissed in their day because they weren't serious enough. Yeah. They were frivolous, they were playful, they were... Female. And I wonder what would have happened if a man had made them, if they would have been seen as frivolous and playful. And I don't know. There's it, something about this that also reminds me of late Stella. Yes, of course, it ends up being antecedent and grounded in what Linda Binglis was doing. Because Frank Stella, at this point, is doing hard-edged geometrics. Right much closer to Judy Chicago. Right, that's right. It's a wonderful piece, animated by this black drizzling line, and then the blue, and the magenta, and the pink, and, and the it, purple and it's glitter. Really, and it feels sort of like it's making fun of Pollock. Oh, know? absolutely. <laughs> and I, adding some kindergarten glitter to some well, Pollock. But you, you know? see, it, it, it is. I've known Linda Binglis for 30 years. I've had the privilege of working with her on exhibits. And she talks about the glitter knot as a response to the hypersensitivity and masculinity mm -hmm. of the art world's dealing with yeah. Pollock as the great breakthrough. Yeah. And she said, I wanted to make him and his imagery mine, but to make it from the process. Very cool.